The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and baby Archie have landed back in the UK following their 10-day tour of Africa. The royals arrived at London Heathrow on Thursday morning after departing from Johannesburg privately the night before. Harry, 35, and Meghan, 38, had a jam-packed final day on their trip, following the announcement that the Duchess is taking legal action against a Sunday newspaper, alleging that it published one of her private letters earlier this year. The Duke released a lengthy emotional statement, where he spoke about how his wife has become one of the latest victims of a British tabloid press. Following the statement release on Wednesday, the couple reappeared the following morning to pay visit to the Youth Unemployment Services hub in the Tempiza township before meeting with Grossa Michelle, Nelson Mandela's widow. They then attended a reception for those in the creative and business industries, with the Duke and Duchess both delivering impassioned speeches. Meghan spoke about women's rights and the gender-based violence crisis in South Africa, saying, I firmly believe that all women have a voice, they just need to feel empowered to use it, and people need to feel encouraged to listen. Harry thanked the audience for a warm welcome and said he couldn't wait to return to Africa with his family. The couple had an audience with President Cyril Ramaphosa and his wife Chepo Motz before returning to London. In a brief interview, Meghan said of the tour, I think the schedule, they have been very kind to me, because everything is based around Archie's feeding times. So it's a full plate. Archie made his public debut in Africa, when the family had tea with Archbishop Desmond Tutu and royal fans couldn't get over how much the four-month-old looks like his dad. While there have been no announcements from Buckingham Palace about their next public engagements in the UK, we can imagine Harry, Meghan and Archie will be keen on some downtime first. After concluding their royal tour of Southern Africa, Prince Harry, Duchess Meghan, and their son Archie flew home to the UK on a commercial flight. The family of three landed in London early this morning via British Airways. Their return follows yesterday's final engagements, which included meeting humanitarian and Nelson Mandela's widow, Grossa Michelle. Delivering her final speech of the trip at the Johannesburg's High Commission yesterday, Meghan looked back at the Sussex's first tour as a family. Over the past 10 days our family has had emotional moments, we've had poignant moments, we've had spiritual moments, we've met inspirational leaders in every walk of life, and we've been treated to incredible food, music, and dancing, she said. But above all, we have been able to meet the people that are the rocks behind the sort of work that really means a so much to us.